deserve to know. Thanks. But I'm okay. She knows. Aren't you at least a bit curious about the things we found? Sure. And there was a time when I'd have been dying to know every detail. Yeah, she's... She's making the right choice. Like, no... But now, I don't think it matters much anymore. Perhaps, you know some things I don't. Maybe it even changed my view of things. Still, even then, I'd be another incomplete piece of reality. And after a lifetime, where all is said, when all is said and done, I feel like the best I could do is simply stay with the reality I've come to peace with. That's actually the best answer. There is, however, something I wanted to ask. Only because I feel like it's meant for me. Did you find anything about why Colin put this book here? And like this? No. I was actually going to ask you about it. He's had it for a long time now, but he kept it... He kept on replacing its pages. Oh no. I need to block that on my mind right now or it's gonna break me. Nope, nope, nope. And now it's just filled with pieces of blank paper. If you find something about it that's meant for me, please do let me know. That's all I ask. Understood. I'll keep an eye out for it. Oh no! Hey, wait! Dr. Watts, right? I know I haven't been the most welcoming, and you probably know why by now. But I know you're just here to do your job. So, thank you for helping him. Yeah, no hard feelings. Shit, man. It's gonna pull a Life is Strange and all of a sudden just drop a giant bomb on us. Okay, music got all a little goofy here. Um. These are just gonna say the same thing, yeah. Duck. Taking a breather, huh? Paperwork mostly. How's he looking? Er, how's he looking? Colin's okay so far, but you guys sure are stirring things up in there. Stirring things up? What do you mean? It's his brain activity. It's been abnormally high for a sedated patient. Try not to aggravate him too much in there. Wait, what? But we haven't been doing anything different compared to any other patient. Hey, I'm only telling you what I see. Anyway, just try to keep in mind. I'll continue to monitor his status. I've never really paid attention to his heart rate monitor here. When anything happens. That's something I told myself I should do, but I just kind of forgot about it. It doesn't ever seem to change. Or at least I've never even noticed a big change. I did leave him be. Disturbances only make my job harder. Alright. Shush, Crimson! I don't want to think about things! <laughs> oh, is that why I keep seeing you're playing Rainbow Six and then it goes away and then it comes back in like five minutes? That sucks. He's not going to hear me like this. I need to use the machine. I thought that's... I needed to click that to get my headset on. Patient Neuralink established. Systems online. View connection status. External neural connections. One. Operator profiles Eva Rosaline. Establish connection. Hey, Eva. Do you hear me? Neil? 
Yep. How's it going in there? Just trying to find the last memory link. Still, there was only one left. Yeah, I just... I don't know. I've looked everywhere. But the scan shows there's one more up here somewhere. I'm gonna find it. Are you done with the paperwork? Well, I just... Oh. Damn it. Where are my pills? Is this all Neil's memories? Oh my god, that would blow my mind. Neil? Because that's something I thought of at the beginning. It's kind of like, what's that movie? I think um, Robin Williams is in it. Where they're called cutters and they, you get, when you're born, you get an implant in your brain to like record your life. And cutters at the end can like make a living video of your life for like your funeral and stuff. And that made me think of this too. It's like, well, what if you were one of these technicians and some, you wanted to rewrite your life so you hired your own company to do that and someone just kind of went in and saw all these things. Although I guess that wouldn't really be memories that would get linked. I don't know. Uh oh, I better not have left him in the car again. What pills? Hey, you still there? Sorry, I'm not finished with the paperwork yet. How long does it take to fill and sign some paperwork? It's, uh, almost ready. I'll come back as soon as it's done. Alright, just make it quick. It shouldn't take that long to get to the card back. What the? Okay. We're going to the car. I guess. Suddenly he takes pills, that's weird. They never alluded to him needing to take pills. That, uh, what's that called? In film where all of a sudden they just bring something in like it was always there, but they never alluded to it before. That's not Deus Ex Machina, is it? But it's really cheaty. Like, you never alluded to that at all. And suddenly they have this magic power that's lame. That was a bad example with the magic power, but... Potato. Why is that person's name Potato? Hey, mister. I knew you'd come by here. Oh, it's you again. Thanks for kicking Amber's doll into the pond for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Is that your mother? <laughs> it's okay. I hope you traumatized that kid. Wow, what a messed up mom. She's been picking on my potato for years. It's time for her to learn a lesson. And now that I got an even smaller potato, I was really starting to worry about the future. You got a s- oh, what? A smaller potato? You named your other kid Potato too? Of course not. Don't be silly. It's just a nickname. His real name's Spud. Oh my god. Oh, by the way, the front desk man said you're here to visit old man Colin. You know Colin? Yeah, he once literally beat up Amber for me. Did I use the word right, Mom? No, dear. You meant figuratively. <laughs> oh, ah. Uh. But what else? So anyway, last week Colin gave me his leftovers jar of lemon juice. I haven't seen him since then, though. Could you please give it back to him? Wait. Lemon juice? What for? To write spy messages, of course. <gasps> Shit! It's invisible ink. I've already written two secret letters to Spud for when he can read good. Old man Colin said he was already done using it, so I could borrow the whole jar if I wanted. Oh, no! Oh. Huh, lucky me. Oh no. So could you give the jar back to Colin? Well, I don't think Colin needs it anymore. You could probably keep it. Wowie, thanks, I'm gonna write a letter to myself. Okay, Potato, it's time to head back home. All right.
Eva, are you calling from the machine? Yeah. At least this functioning's function's still working normally. Hey, listen. I think I figured out Colin's book with the blank pages. That's not important right now. I need to check you to check something for me. Uh, what? Bye! Is everything okay in there? Did you find that last memory link? No. Are you at a computer? I can be. Good. Can you run a- Oh, wait. Good. Can you run a record search on Faye and check for an aviation accident? Oh, no. You think she was in a plane crash? I just- I just want to rule out the possibility of something out. I'll send you her ex extracted profile. Oh, crap. I'll send you her exact extracted profile. There's enough data, even without a last name. Let me know when you have the results. Okay. So do I not go to the car anymore? And also the red flashing. Planning to drag Antarctic Iceberg 5,000 miles to the UAE. Wow. So much money that could be put to better use. Hello? Hey, Rox, you're still on your laptop, right? Yep, yep. I just forwarded a profile to you. Mind helping me run a record check? Sure, mind telling me what you've been up to with the machine? Uh. Okie dokie, looky pokey. It's settled then. I'll call you back with the results. Something is very ominous. Also, the desk man is gone. And the kid just said he wanted to talk to me. How did I get out of here again? I don't remember how to get out of here. I don't remember how to get out of here. Let me out. Uh, I can't click on any of this. Dumb. I hate this area. This area is like did this last time. Where there's nothing to interact with. And it ended up being right here, even though I mouse over it like a million times. It's not there. What the hell? And then he's gonna just tell me to I need to go to the car. Watch. Wow, he said exactly what I said. Where's the desk, dude? I should already be done, Gupless, but this game should already should almost be over, so we decided to keep going. But it feels like we just uncovered a giant thing in the story. I, how do I get out of here? Ugh. I hated this room, and it's still stupid. I can't get out. There. For some reason, there's no arrow there. Okay, I got a phone call. Hey, Eva, I'm still working on the... Neil, can you hear me? Uh, yes? Hello? Are you there? I'm right here. What is it? Neil, if you can hear me. Neil. Neil's the one. He's like in a coma or something. Listen, I don't think... Eva? Uh, you still there? Weird. That call must be malfunctioning. 
I'll fix it as soon as I get back. Like, because he was doing modifications to the machine. So, what if he made a modification that put him in... in the hospital? Wait a minute. Huh. That's a nice bike. Sure wish I had one like it. Eva, what happened earlier? No, or no, it's Roxy, you silly putty. Oh. Uh, so how's the record searching going? Oh, it's going great. Actually, no, it's not great at all. Well, what Rob's saying is that it depends on your perspective. What? It's a yes or no question. Did she die in the plane crash or not? Well... So here's the great part. There's no plane crash to a record, so you don't have to worry about that. Sheesh. Why didn't you just say so? A simple no would have sufficed. Well, that's not all. Or, well, that's not all, though. The thing is, not only is there no plane crash, there's nothing else to a record either. He made her up. In fact, there is no record of Faye. As in, or as in, no record available to public domain? As in, no record in existence. Anywhere. We've checked the cumulative public record, the private idea network databases, even... What? We... We even... Few, well, well, even a few places that we technically don't have access to. Still, there's no record of her for anything. No death. Not even birth. Oh? Oh. So, unless Colin's got some extreme form of distorted amnesic condition... He doesn't. I checked. Yeah, so... Oh, sorry, I got another call. Hello? Does he have m multiple personality? Or, um, not m multiple personality, uh... Even if it was just someone like me. That creepy flashy thing. That's kind of creepy. I don't like that. That's all horror gamey. Hey, where are you two going? Company called. We got another patient going live across town. Yeah, gotta hop. Sorry, Neil. What was that noise? What the heck? Gutless Redeem, declare a raid. Yes, it's Jamie? Alright. When we raid, we'll be going to Yes, it's Jamie. Nice. Night call, huh? Should have taken a nap. <laughs> We're all used to it by now. Seems like you've got a handful to yourself to sort out, hmm? I don't know why the game is so laggy. Yes. If what we yielded means what I think it means, you might be in for a tricky evening. At least from our experiment experience, patients capable of that tend to be rather peculiar cases. I've read the patient's file, or patient's case, by the way. Care for a word of advice? Yes. Well, if you're gonna give it to me anyway, so... I don't know the details of Colin's life, but this